In this example, I'm given two functions, f of x equals x minus 4 and g of x equals the square root of the quantity x plus 9. And I need to find the sum function f plus g, the difference function f minus g, the product function f times g, and the quotient function f divided by g, and then determine the domain for each function in interval notation. So quickly reviewing, here are the definitions for the four functions I'm trying to find. And in part A, I need to find the sum function f plus g of x, which by definition equals f of x plus g of x. Now all I need to do is substitute in the definitions of my functions. I always put them in parentheses to start with in case I need them. So I have parentheses with x minus 4 plus parentheses the square root of x plus 9. Now do I need the parentheses in this case? No, I'm just adding all these terms. I have unlike terms, so my answer is just x minus 4 plus the square root of x plus 9. So that is the sum function f plus g of x. Next, I need to find the difference function by definition. That is just f of x minus g of x. f of x was x minus 4. Remember, I always start out in parentheses. Minus g of x is the square root of x plus 9. Now, do I need these parentheses? No, there's only one term after the subtraction sign. And I have three unlike terms can't combine. So my answer is x minus 4 minus the square root of the quantity x plus 9. So that is the difference function f minus g of x. Next, I need to find the product function f times g of x. By definition, it is just f of x times g of x, and f of x equals x minus 4 times g of x is the square root of the quantity x plus 9. Now, do I need these parentheses? I definitely need the first set. I need the x minus 4 to be in parentheses because it is multiplied by the square root of x plus 9. Now, that is one way of writing the answer. The other way is to multiply this out, and I get x times the square root of x plus 9 minus 4 times the square root of x plus 9. So those are both two ways of writing f times g of x. It can be written either of those two ways. And lastly, I need to find the quotient function f divided by g of x, which by definition is f of x divided by g of x, provided g of x does not equal 0. So what is f of x? It's x minus 4. Now I don't need parentheses in this case because the division bar is a grouping symbol. Divided by g of x is the square root of x plus 9. Can I simplify anything? No. That is just the new function f divided by g of x provided my g of x function does not equal 0. And we'll take that into account on the next slide when we look at the domains. Lastly, I need to find the domains in interval notation of the four functions I found on the previous slide. Now, there are two different ways of doing this. One is to look at the unsimplified form of each function. And the second method works from the domains of f and g. I prefer this second method. 
So looking at f of x, which is x minus 4, a linear function, it's just a polynomial. And what's the domain of every single polynomial? That's easy, it's all real numbers. And we write that in interval notation as negative infinity to positive infinity. Now g of x is not a polynomial, it has domain issues because we want to avoid the radicand or the x plus 9 being negative. So to do that, we take the radicand x plus 9, and since we don't want it to be negative, we want it to be positive or 0. That means greater than or equal to 0. Subtracting 9 from both sides, I get x is greater than or equal to negative 9. Graphing that on the number line, Here's negative 9, and it's greater than or equal to, shade to the right. Since it includes the negative 9, put a square bracket on the negative 9, but don't forget this keeps going to positive infinity. So this domain in interval notation is negative 9 to infinity. Now I need to find the domains of the sum, difference, and product functions. Luckily, the domains of these three functions are identical, and the domains of each of these functions is the intersection of the domains of f and g. All this means is what do these two domains have in common? Well, remember, all real numbers if I graph it, looks like everything on the number line. And what do these two domains have in common? Well, just this part here. They do not have this part here in common. So their domains are negative 9 with a square bracket to infinity for all three of those functions. And lastly, I need to find the domain of the quotient function f divided by g of x. Well, the domain of this function is the intersection of the domains of f and g, but you also must exclude all values of x for which g of x is equal to 0. So when is g of x equal to 0? So when is the square root of x plus 9 equal to 0? Well, that equals 0 when x plus 9 equals 0, or when x equals negative 9. So I'm going to take the domain I found up here of negative 9 to infinity, but then I have to exclude x equals negative 9. Is negative 9 included in this domain? Yes, because there's a square bracket. So to exclude it, I will just turn this square bracket into a parenthesis. So my answer will be parentheses negative 9 to infinity.